Yo, what's up, guys? My name is EQZ, and welcome to our end of the season awards for our Leeds United career mode season one. And this is going to be something I'm going to be doing from now on for every career mode that I do. We're going to do an end of the season award, just a little, just a little sh award show, just to make it, you know, a little bit more professional real realism. Just show you guys who you guys voted for, because this is all fan voting. If you guys want to vote for these, I will post these in my community pages on my YouTube. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna find a way to make it like sort of a, a anonymous so that we don't know so that no one knows with the results because right now if you vote you can look at the results so you everyone knows who won but if you haven't you're new here obviously you're gonna watch the video to see who has won and we're gonna get straight into it guys so let's get straight into it guys our first award is gonna be off the bench best player award this is a player who pretty much throughout the season did not start regularly was starting on the bench for the most part and came off the bench and you know made a pretty impact addition to our squad and to the games they could potentially get start next year based off of these awards but you know like i said pretty much bench players but coming off the bench and going into the game were they impactful enough so we got four four nominees here we have obviously rutter who did start a majority of his um at the beginning at least of our leeds united career mode but he uh he, he went down as makoko took over that starting position so he became a bench player progressively over the course of the season so he is the first nominee second nominee my personal favorite off the bench player harrison a very very good player he came off the bench pretty much i think he was probably the, the player who came off the most so he did cap the most majority of the game there was a reason for that he had a very he was very impactful when he came on he did the job well he usually replaced mckinney sometimes he replaced sinistera overall a very good player here next we have nonto a player who i think was kind of underrated but at the same time didn't really perform up to the standard you know obviously not starter level based off his performances at least but he did pretty good off the bench and he also was another player who frequently came off the bench as well to replace sinistera and sometimes did way better than sinistera because you know as you guys know sinistera was not really the best did not really have a great season with us so nanonto another nominee and our final nominee is going to be roca a player who honestly didn't really play that much but when he did come on he actually did fill in the job pretty well for tyler adams of, of course our captain and of course tyler adams got injured so towards the end roca did manage to play a majority of the games and he did a phenomenal job there and was able to help us get the premier league title of course and so obviously i have to put him there so those are the four nominees here and the way i want to do it guys i'm gonna i'm gonna eliminate one one by one and in the end we'll see who is first so our first one off the list is going to be unfortunately roca who did not win bench player of the season he honestly he got zero percent results so no one voted for him i mean it's understandable like i said he didn't really come off the bench as much and he's a, a center defensive mid so the impact isn't as um i guess isn't as clear as day you know looking at the stats so roca is the first one off second one off a surprise to me if i'm being honest just because like i said this guy was amazing but the second one is going to be harrison who has not won best bench player of the season he received 17% of the votes. So once again, a little, like I said, a little shocking. I think he had a very good season. He had some very, very good moments for us. Some clutch moments, if I may add. Like I said, I was very surprised that he didn't, you know, didn't win or at least wasn't top two, you know. Here are the top two, Rutter and Inonto. And honestly, I wasn't surprised on who won this, but you guys let me know if you guys were surprised. But the winner of the season one Leeds United career mode best bench player is going to be rutter that is right guys rutter is the winner of our first award today best bench player of the season he received 58 percent of the votes so he won by a milestone and Nonto, who got 25 percent of the votes so not too shabby but rutter obviously took it well away and honestly well deserved like i said he started a good amount he scored a lot of goals still so i think he was our third top goal scorer i believe so even as he became a bench player he still scored a lot of goals off the bench when he did come on so that is a very nice award for him congrats to him and that's our first award guys so best bench player goes to rutter all right moving on to our second award most improved player this is an award basically for players who started you know not only were they lower rating when the season started but overall they just improved progressively as the season went on and they just did much much better as it went on and like i said not only just the rating but in terms of their stats they're playing their impact on the team so don't get it mixed mixed up with just all the ra rating went up but overall just their impact and how it progressed during the season and did it go 
go up did it go down obviously these players it went up so here are the four nominees once again rutter our winner of our first award he's gonna be there makoko a fan favorite honestly is gonna be here as well aronson who had once again aronson pretty much started off sloppy if you guys remember me saying about him when we started the season and obviously he is on here for a reason because he did improve a lot and, and then balde of course not only did he start with a low rating as well he really really progressed into a very nice defender for us and not even not only a defender going forward he did a lot of creativity Filling in for sinistera who honestly a lot of the time was not able to to, to have the attacking that we wanted a balde honestly did a, a phenomenal job in helping us get that so those are the four nominees all right this is going to be a shock another shock for me um first player off the list is going to be balde unfortunately did not get any votes zero percent of the votes and i was honestly shocked but once again i'm shocked at that just because i think personally for me i would have picked balde just because while well, he's on he's a defender obviously his his, his stats going forward isn't going to be the best but i just think overall when he came into this team he was you know one of the lower rated players instantly got up his rating but no like i said not only his rating his impact just became more more impactful and just he was just a good player but i'm like i said I, he didn't win i'm shocked like i said voted from you guys so if you guys see any surprises there let me know in the comments but there's three nominees left rutter makoko and aronson and the next one is gonna go off is gonna be our guy Aronson. Aronson received 22% of the votes, but was not able to win most improved player. And like I said, I think it was fair for him not to win just because while I think he did improve a lot and he was very, very creative for us, he is sort of, he was supposed to be that sort of guy that already was already ready to take this team, you know, as a center attacking mid. So I think it was fair that he didn't win. But going on to our next two, our final two nominees, Makoko and Rutter are left. And Rutter has already won one award. Will he win two or will Makoko win his first one and claim the second award and the winner of the most improved player for the Leeds United season one is going to be Rutter once again he gets his second award and honestly I was a bit shocked I would have expected Makoko to win it over him personally but like I said you can see where you guys are coming from Makoko received 33% of the votes while Rutter received 44% so this one was much closer overall Rutter had a pretty good margin there to win and I think it was I think it's fair as well I think it is fair I could see a lot of these players winning this award, if I'm being honest. But I think it's fair that he won as well. Rutter started... I think he was one of the lower-rated strikers as well coming into this. And he got his rating up. But not only did he get his rating up, he vastly, vastly improved every time. Not only when he started, but when he came off the bench. So congratulations once again to Rutter winning the second award today. And most improved player of your Leeds United Season 1. Alrighty, guys. For our third award today, moving up the ladder, we got most clutch player. And we have five nominees this time. And like I said, I think it was just deserving just because we had a lot of clutch players this season for Leeds United. And I think it's only fair that I put a couple, a little, uh, an extra nominee. But we have Chicharito, Makoko, Aronson, McKinney, and of course, Rutter, who has already won two awards. So can he win his third one? He's been nominated in all three. So will he be able to win the hat trick of awards? We'll see here. Was able to see any of these guys win, but you guys will be surprised by the voting just a tiny bit. I think it was kind of fair. I'm a little shocked at some of them, but we'll see. Well, the first one off is going to be our guy, Aronson. Aronson did not win most clutch player. He received 0% of the voting, which was a little, uh, I wouldn't say shocking. I think it was fair. He wasn't the most clutch player out of all of these five, but he did have clutch moments, just not as much as these guys. But I think it was, I think it was pretty good performance for him, but received 0% of the voting. Our second guy off and finally not winning an award is going to be Rutter. He received 7% of the votes. So he will not win a hat trick of awards yet at least we don't know if he will win we got uh we got three more awards to go through so will he win another one who knows we got our three boys here chisarito makoko and mckinney and honestly any of these guys i was happy with winning it because i think they all had it you know mckinney didn't score too many goals but he had a very very lot of clutch moments which i, I salute to him because he did really good but that being said though mckinney is gonna be the guy the next guy off he will not win most clutch player like i said had a very good season but i mean just compared to these two guys at least to chicharito and makoko just nowhere is near but he was very clinical and finally chicharito and makoko honestly two guys up for player of the season will they win the their first award here and the winner 
of your Leeds United season one most clutch player is going to be Makoko. Makoko has won his first award most clutch player and honestly I can't say that I'm too surprised. I would have thought Chicharito maybe deserved it a tiny bit just because Chicharito was just so good throughout the whole season but Makoko honestly he had a, a slow start but after that slow start he just was on fire and yeah he had a lot of clutch moments and I think he deserves it very much as well so there it is guys congrats to Makoko his first award and he claims the third award of the night Alrighty, guys our fourth award a little love to the defenders this season we had a very very good defense in my opinion and I think it's all due to these guys here they held it down and finally we have some a little bit more variety uh, of defenders here instead of it's just you know usually it's all attackers getting the recognition so I want to give some love to the defenders here so we have Christensen Coke Kim and Balde up for defender of the season. Christensen had a very great season. And so these are the four nominees, guys. And the first one off is going to be my boy, Coke. Unfortunately, this received 0% of the voting. And I think he was a little bit more of the more underrated defenders. But I think he kind of just was a, a solid defender, but nothing really special. You know, he did his job well, but nothing like to the point where he was doing amazing, made so many tackles. You know, he did have some very clutch moments. I will not lie. He did very good in some parts, but for the most part, he just kind of steadied the ship, you know. So I could see why he received seven or zero votes. Our next one off is going to be our guy Christensen. Once again, another player who I think maybe didn't get a lot of voting. He received 7% of the voting only. And I think that's due to because, you know, once again, just like Coke, kind of steadied the ship. Um, did his job well, but not, you know, he wasn't exceeding expectations or wasn't, you know, he just did it well. Um, and that's why I, obviously he was on the nominees. Spend of the season has to go who really made an impact with that being said two of our guys left two new signings that we signed this season kim and balde both very impactful players you guys know how much i love kim and you guys know how much i love balde they're both very good players and the winner of the lead united season one defender of the season is going to be kim kim min jay wins defender of the season for our season one awards and he claims his first award here balde unfortunately misses out uh, Baldy received 43% of the votes and Kim received 50%. So it was a pretty close one between the two. But in the end, Kim won. And I think it's well deserving for him. He did a phenomenal job coming into the season, his first season with us, and just exceeded expectations. So many tackles made, so many clutch tackles, especially, and just held it down, held the defense down. Obviously, he was probably he was the highest rated defender out of all of them. So no surprise as he's gonna be the best one, but he just did a phenomenal job there. And there it is, guys. Congrats to Kim and Jay, defender of the season. Alrighty, guys, we're down to our two last awards. This is gonna be the second to last one. Signing of the season. For your Leeds United Season 1, we have our nominees here. Chicharito, Makoko, Kim, and Balde. All who have been nominated. Kim is the only one. Or actually, Kim and Makoko have both won an award. Will Chicharito or Balde claim award for the first time? We'll see here. Signing the season, obviously, we had some great signings. All of these guys, such impactful. Obviously, Chicharito, top goal scorer of our club and the Premier League. Makoko second top goal scorer of the club kim defender of the season already and balde honestly just a phenomenal job at left back filling in for Ferbo, who you know balde is such a young guy and was just able to fill it in and do what we needed him to do so honestly all these guys very very great signings that we made but only one can claim signing of the season who will it be first one off is going to be unfortunately balde did not receive many votes eight percent of the voting and just you know like i said wasn't as impactful as these three as these three guys so i could see why he received the, le the least of the votes there and you know it's it's no surprise it's no surprise the least impactful didn't get as much votes all right our next one off is gonna be a little bit surprised i'm not gonna lie i was surprised by this it's gonna be Chicharito is off. He only received 15% of the voting, which is insane to me. Top goal scorer of the club, top goal scorer of the Premier League. Um, and I think he was top assister. I don't remember actually, but he, I mean, what a signing. 34 years of age and was able to do to do all that in the first season with us. We know he's been in the Premier League, so obviously there was no doubt that he wasn't going to be comfortable in the Premier League. But I mean, to do that 34 is just insane. 
so unfortunately he received like i said 15 percent of the votes so i'm surprised by that but you know like i said you guys voted for that and you guys saw something that i didn't here we are makoko and kim the last two kim getting some recognition here as a, a nominee for signing the season but obviously we already know who's gonna win this it's gonna be makoko makoko is your season one signing of the season for leeds united he claims his second award today and he won by a landslide in a way 54 percent of the voting kim received 23 percent so kim did pretty decent in the voting against chicharito any more votes so that was a surprise but makoko is going to be the one who wins the second his second award and the fifth award of the night and makoko once again we all know this guy man great season like i said started off slow but phenomenal phenomenal um in the end just scoring so many goals he would have reached if he was on the form since the beginning he definitely would have ended top goal scorer of the club he would have passed chicharito for sure but he had a slow start i didn't start him at all at the beginning uh, he was benched for a couple of games and he got the opportunity and he definitely took it so Congrats to Makoko signing of the season. And here it is, guys. Our final award of the night. Player of the season. MVP. Most valuable player in a way. And this player proved to be, you know, just that guy. He, he was him. He was him. And he proved to be the guy that, you know, we always needed to look towards. And was always going to give you a great game. And like I said, once again, you guys will be kind of shocked, honestly. For the voting i was pretty shocked but i think overall it was deserving so the first one off is going to be i think it's pretty obvious it's going to be aronson received six percent of the votes aronson was just not as consistent in the season but he did have some very good moments which is why i put him as a nominee just because i think he deserved to have some to, to get some votes in there i i never i didn't think he was gonna win it i knew he wasn't gonna win it just because like i said it wasn't very consistent you guys know you guys saw him and i was a little frustrated with him at some time so aronson will not be player of the season the next player off honestly another shock to me man i would have pegged this guy personally me he's my player of the season i were to vote but you guys voted so i'm not gonna discredit that of course but it's going to be Chicharito is off the board. He only received 17% of the votes, which is a shock. And honestly, Chicharito, I mean, like I said, top goal scorer did very well. But I mean, in some ways, he had some performances where he didn't do, you know, he, he didn't score goals. He didn't really do much. Maybe that can have an impact. So I can see where that comes from. But overall, I think he, he did a very good, he had a very good season. Just could not win it this time. And finally, guys, our two nominees left for player of the season, Makoko and McKinney. McKinney had a great season honestly stats wise not as good as makoko but just overall maybe more consistent and like i said makoko very second top goal scorer just a goal machine towards the end and did that hurt him though towards the end is a very very important line there did he do it all season and i think that's what you guys decided here because the winner the player of the season of season one leeds united is going to be weston mckinney is going to win player of the season and a little bit of a shock for me but I can actually see where this comes from because, like I said, Makoko had a very slow start. There was a good period where he was not even going to be nominated for a lot of these awards, if I'm being honest. And then a very short period of time, maybe, is when he really started taking off. And that's when he started sc go, uh, scoring so many goals. So I, 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 I could kind of see where that's coming from. McKinney started pretty much every game had some very very consistent performances he got assist he got some goals clutch player i think it's a very deserving award for him so that's going to be your guys's player of the season for your season one leeds united career mode and congrats to mckinney and that's going to be it for the awards today guys that's going to be it i hope this video doesn't go too long i didn't want to make it too long but wanted to get in some you know some input and tell you guys what's happening so next one will go a little bit more smoothly just because i really kind of know what's going on here but I hope you guys enjoyed these award shows. It's going to be it's going to be great. Just a little bit. Just, you know, like I said, I like doing this just to make it a little bit more real and see who you guys like throughout the season. So but that's going to be it for me today, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know in the comments down below uh, if you guys disagreed with any of the winners, any of the nominees, who should I have nominated, who should have been left out, you know, uh, that type of stuff. Let me know. And I'll be sure to, you know, we can get a little bit of debate here if you guys want in the chat. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video, of course. And remember to subscribe if you're new, guys. We're on the road to 500 subscribers. Uh, last time I said I was like two away for some reason. I don't know why I was not thinking straight. We're like about 34 or 36 away. So we're almost there, guys. We're, we're more than halfway there for sure. So subscribe, hit the bell notification to get notified when all my videos go live. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys in the next one.